Hello and welcome to the AVX product video series. In this video, you will learn about the AVX VA management and VA images. Specifically, you will learn what is a VA, what is a VA image, what is the format of a VA image, what is the metadata file, how VA images are added locally, how VA images are added via the AVX repository. A VA is a virtual appliance, similar to a VM or virtual machine on VMware. A VA image is a virtual hard disk that is used as a template for creating the VA or VM. The VA image is based on the AVX Array OS Linux KVM hypervisor. The AVX supports the following VA image formats, QCAL2 and RAW are the two main image formats supported. QCAL2 stands for QEMU, copy and write, and uses this storage optimization strategy that delays allocation of storage until it is actually needed. RAW is an unstructured image disk format that requires the entire space pre-allocated for the image. ANI and TGZ are compression packages of one or more QCAL2 or RAW files. The only difference is an ANI compression package is encrypted with the Array Network's proprietary method. VMDK is an image disk format created by VMware. Each VA will require a metadata. If the format is QCAL2, RAW, or VMDK, the metadata can be entered manually or from a file. If the format is ANI or TGZ, the metadata file should be included in the package. This slide describes all the information required for the metadata. Let's now log into the AVX web UI or web user interface and navigate to the VA management tab and click on the VA image section. In this section, you can add or remove VA images. Note there are already three VA images on the AVX. We have a VAPV, a VXAG, and, an, and a CentOS VA image. For each VA image, there is also detailed information such as the image name, product name, product category, vendor, version, supported VA sizes, console type, and a description. In the last column, Action, we can delete or create a VA instance. VA images can be added in two ways, using the plus button here or selecting the image repository. Let's go back to VA image and click on the plus button. In our video, we're going to proceed and add the latest VAPV release 8.6.0.116. We'll call it VAPV-860116. The image format will be ANI, which is a compression package encrypted with the uh, Array Network's proprietary method. Let's go ahead and browse for it. There it is. Okay, it's, it's loading at the moment. This will take a few seconds to complete. Let's wait. Okay, it's done. Uh, since the VA image is in an ANI format, the image metadata is already included in the package. So let's go ahead and save. And if you look at the uh, middle section here, note VA image number four is our VAPV 86.0.116, which we just added.
Now let's add a VA image using the image repository. The image repository is a website providing all the certified array and third-party VA images. There are six different categories and all the VA images are in TGZ or ANI image formats. Let's go to the next generation firewall category and import the Fortinet VA image. The import will take a few minutes and can take up to 10 minutes or more depending on the size of the VA image and your network bandwidth. Okay, it's all done. Let's navigate back to the VA image section. Note VA image number 5 is the one just added. FortiGate VM. To conclude this video for the AVX VA management and VA images, you have just learned what is a VA, what is a VA image, what is the format of a VA image, what is the metadata file, how VA images are added locally, how VA images are added via the AVX repository. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the AVX product.